I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna do you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, no, 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 no. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Bolingbrook, Illinois, where we have a frauditor that wants to audit a post office, but he's not too happy with anybody, especially the police that show up. But at any rate, I stumbled across this guy's channel, and he has a few videos that are worth taking a look at, so I'll be sure to bring him your way, everybody. Yeah, but he's a big believer in Poster 7. You'll see as we get into the video. Sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy! We're at the Bolingbrook Post Office, Bolingbrook, Illinois. Fifteen minutes late. Don't take my picture. <laughs> Remember this lady, because she's going to cause problems in about another five minutes or so. So let's go ahead and skip through this dead air, because you know frauditors have a lot of dead air. And let's get to the good part. A little longer than a few minutes later. Ma'am, if you would like to ask me and be educated. I asked you what you were doing here. The rules and the regulations are right here for the post office. If you would like to read them, they say that I can be in here why taking in photographs. Here, I don't care if the rules say you can. I'm asking you why you're here. Because I can. And because I, you can? Uh, I'm not breaking no law, so what is oh, the problem? Oh, see. I'm calling the cops. You, Go ahead. You turn right it there. towards me. And I, yeah. Well, now, it's apparent that this lady is none too happy with this guy recording. And he says, look, Poster 7 says I'm allowed to do this. Well, Poster 7 doesn't quite say that. And that's been superseded these days by a DHS directive. And if you look carefully on the right-hand side in the middle here, it says commercial photography and videotaping in a space occupied by a federal tenant, which the post office is a federal tenant, requires the written permission of the agency official. Mmm, well, I'm going to tell you something, man. Now, if you read a little further, it says journalists, news media, and other individuals uh, photographing and videotaping for news purpose is not considered a commercial purpose. However, you see, this is a fine line. And if you think about it, it's absolutely true. When you upload videos for profit on YouTube, that's considered a commercial entity. No doubt about that, sweetheart. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a good day, ma'am. Have a good day. No idea why she's going to go out there and call the police on something elite, something that is illegal to do. Get away from me! I hope you die right now. 
This is uncalled for. There's no reason to go out here and record this woman's license plate number and VIN number. This is straight up harassment. Of course, that is what frauditors do best. That's all they do. That's all they can do. They're unemployed, uneducated, bird brains, and they're babbling buffoons on top of that. Why would you do that to this woman? I don't get it. Why would you possibly want to do that? You know, she didn't do anything to you. You're the one that did something to her. So I, I just don't get this. This is not right. And um, I think the police are called. I remember watching this video a while ago. And uh, I don't remember how it ends. Let's go ahead and continue. A few moments later. I guess I'll go outside and wait for the police. Well, we all know that post office frauditors are true idiots, but this proves it beyond the shadow of a doubt. He followed that poor woman outside for no reason. Now he wants to come back inside the post office and wait for the police to arrive. And while he does so, he films poster 7. Uh, it takes a special breed of stupid, doesn't it? Well, we're going to have to skip through quite a bit of dead air, but let's get towards the end of this and find out how this is going to end up. All right. I don't even know if the police are going to show up. I ain't doing nothing illegal. They're here. They actually showed up. Ah, uh, yeah, I was. She's pretty quick with that cardboard box, though, ain't she? This is what I'm here for. I have the right to be in here filming, and they always call the police. The rules are right there on the wall that I have the right to be in here filming, but that other lady called the police on me for doing nothing wrong. Maybe they don't want to be in the camera. But you no, have, that's against the law. You're not supposed to just no, no. go around and film nobody. Not, you don't have, want to be you have no expectation of privacy in public. Now, if I went to your house and did it, different. We're in public. This is a government facility, which is public. Every time I hear somebody say that, I always think of another frauditor. Yeah, and I'm referring to, you have no expectation of privacy in public. Can anybody guess who I'm referring to? Oh, we miss the lad. We certainly do. We miss his boldness and his brashness and his idiocracy, if that's a word. Let's roll that clip. There's no expectation of privacy in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm here for them, not you guys. They are, they get tax dollars, our tax dollars. I want to make sure they're doing their job right. And then, and then the lady calls the police. So for doing nothing wrong, she, she starts swearing at me. Oh, yeah, she won't follow. Yeah, she did. He should, right, we'll hopefully, he's telling her that I can do this. <laughs> so, I'm going to go outside since the police are here. One more thing. One more thing. How many times is this bloody idiot going to film poster 7? One more thing, one more thing. Yeah, well, like the sign says, crazy people don't know they're crazy. And that applies in this case. Poster 7, my God. That is probably the most understood, most misunderstood, I should say, document ever. What is wrong with these people, really? Oh, my head hurts. Oh, my head hurts. Stop this nonsense. That was poster seven. Thank you. Oh, there he is. Be 
to the devil. Yep, he's allowed to do that. But uh, 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 private people? Why don't we go over to the police department and talk to them there, okay? Okay, why don't we? Okay. Can I get your name and badge number? What's that? Can I get your name and badge number? What for? Because I asked you, sir. I'm not good. So you're going to be a tyrant like that? Well, at least you explained to her that I have the right. But you're still a tyrant. Isn't it in your policy to say your name and badge number, sir? Apparently this idiot's never studied his history and has no idea what a tyrant really is. I'll show you a modern day tyrant right here. This is a modern day tyrant who rules an entire country with an iron fist and it's his way or, whoa, I can't even say the highway. It's his way or forget about it. Yeah, this is a tyrant. We don't have any tyrants here in the United States of America. We have hard-working police officers who protect our communities on a daily basis. They put their lives on the line each and every day for idiots just like you. But you don't care about any of that. You just want your First Amendment American freedoms, which is nonsense, because you're not a member of the press. You're not a member of the press. Uh, but this is almost over, mercifully. Watch how he goes crazy right at the end here. Can I have your name and badge number, sir? Sir, can I have your name and badge number? I will be filing a complaint against you. Try to run me over. Well, there you have it, folks. Like I said earlier, just happened to run across this channel, and he's got a few videos I can edit. Seems to be a bloody idiot, though. He doesn't have that many subscribers, and you know, hopefully he doesn't get too many more. But, uh, yeah, he wasn't happy at all. He wasn't happy with the lady, and then he wasn't happy with the people inside telling him what to do. And then he wasn't happy with the police. So this guy's just not a happy camper all the way around. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So hey, me. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, yo, you're racist. Kate racist. Oh, oh. Racist Nazi, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. 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 I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead. Put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just permit? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar. Greetings, Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. There will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. 
Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!